In this video, I'm going to show you how to graph that slope-intercept form of a linear equation. You know, the y equals mx plus b thing that your teacher needs you to understand. Okay, let's get to it. Slope-intercept form of a linear equation, y equals mx plus b. When you have a linear equation in that form, it's really easy to figure out the slope and the y-intercept because m, that number in front, the coefficient on x, that's your slope, that's your rise and your run. And remember, positive slope lines are up and to the right, negative slope lines are down and to the right. And then what is that number at the end? What is that B thing? That's the Y-intercept. That's where the line hits the Y-axis. So I like to think of that as a freebie point that we can just get right out of that equation and get a, and a dot on our graph. Okay, let's look at an actual example here. We have Y equals 2 fifths X, minus three. Do you see that that's in y equals mx plus b form? That's called the slope intercept form because the slope is staring at us, it's two fifths, and the y intercept is staring at us, it's the negative three. So the order that you do things there, I want you to ignore the slope for now. We're gonna use that b value. b is negative three, that's the y intercept. So we find the y axis, that's the up and down axis, and we go down three because the y-intercept is at negative three. Now, in order to graph a line, there's lots of, lots of lines that go through that dot, right? There's lots of them. Which one is the correct one? Now we're gonna use that angle of the line called slope. We're gonna, and it is rise over run. It's a fraction. It tells you how much to go up and how much to go to the right. And I want you to always go right if you wanna be right. You got me? So from that dot, we're gonna, Put ourselves on the line. We're on the line now, right? At negative three. We're gonna go up two over five and we're gonna put another dot right there. So let me put that second dot on my graph. So let me start again. I started at that red dot and then I went up two to the right five. They got me a second dot. Now I can draw my answer, which is the line. I'm gonna draw my line through those dots and you can see, I've graphed the linear equation that was given to me in y equals mx plus b form. Do you notice that it's going up and to the right? The slope was positive, so that makes sense. That seems correct. Let's go to another example. y equals one-third x plus one. So I see the number one-third and I see the number one. Which one's the slope? The slope is the one-third, that's your m. And then what is b again? B is the number one, positive one. Which way do we go? Do we go up one and put a dot or do we go to the right one and put a dot? Remember, B is the y-intercept, so we're gonna go up one and put a dot. Now we use the angle of the line, which is called slope. Because remember, there's millions of lines that go through that dot. We want the one line that has the slope of one third that goes through that dot. So keep in mind, we're always gonna go to the right. So we go up one, rise over run, and then to the right, three, up one over three, gets us our second dot right there. Now we can keep going, by the way. We can go up one over three. See how I got another dot at that same ratio. We can go down one as long as we go left. I like to think about that as like backtracking on the line. So I'm gonna go down one, back three, down one, back three, so I can get lots more dots. Notice how they form an absolutely perfect line. So I'm gonna draw a perfect line that goes through those dots. There they are. Okay, let's look at a third example with a positive slope, and then we're gonna talk about negative slopes. So I see two whole numbers this time. There's no fraction in this problem. So the slope is the coefficient on x. So which number is the slope? The slope is four here, m is four. So that means the b is negative five. b is your y-intercept. So we find the y-axis, we go down five, we put a dot. Now don't forget, our slope is four, or we could write that as four over one. The slope is four over one. So I'm going to go up four from that dot. I'm gonna go up four to the right one. And that puts me right here. You see how I went up four over to the right one. Up four over 
one puts me right here. And I can now draw a nice straight line through those three dots, and I graph my linear function, my linear equation, y equals 4x minus 5. And notice how it's going up and to the right, the positive slope 4. Don't just go up 4. you got to go up 4 over 1 on this example. All right, question number 4 here. Finally, we're going to look at something that has a negative slope. Once again, let's harvest out the information we need. The slope here is negative 2 thirds, and then the B value, that Y intercept is positive one. So find the Y axis and go up one and put a dot. Now this time, remember negative slope lines are down and to the right, down and to the right. So we're gonna go down two, down two, and then we're always gonna go right if we wanna be right. So this time my second dot is down and to the right which would be right here, down and to the right. I could also go up two and I could go back three if I wanna get another dot that lines up. That way I can be sure to get a nice straight line. And there's my linear function. It does go on and on by the way, so maybe I should be putting arrows on the end. So that's a negative slope line. Notice how it's downhill, it's down and to the right. Always do a little mental check before you move on to the next one. Speaking of, here's the next one y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 5. So we want to graph this. It's a negative slope. So the y-intercept is 5. The slope is negative 4 thirds. Which number do we use first? The 5. We go up 5 and put a dot. Remember, I called that the freebie. It's like a free point they give you. Without any thought, you just go up 5, put a dot. Now the second dot, we have to be careful. This is a negative slope, so I need to go down four to the right three. Remember, always go to the right if you wanna be right. I know that's silly, but it helps, right? Down four over three. I've got three dots nicely lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my line, put my arrows on the end. There's my linear function, y equals negative four thirds x plus five. I've got two more examples lined up for you. What's different here? Oh my goodness. I don't like to just do the same thing over and over again because I know you're getting good at this. So we got to see some of the curve balls that can come at us. So what's wrong with this? It's not in the right form, is it? It's not in Y equals MX plus B form. So we have an algebra toolbox and we can move things across the equal sign. We can add and subtract things, multiply and divide. But in this case, I'm just gonna add X on both sides. See how I'm doing this? And I get Y equals X plus three. All right, so I think you would agree the B value is three here. What's the M? I don't see a number there. Is it zero? No, of course not. It's one, there's an invisible one there. And it's not even a bad idea to think about it as one over one. That's not a bad idea because this has a slope of one, which is like a 45 degree angle line on our graph here. I'm gonna go up three, put a dot. That's my freebie, that's my B value. And then from there, I'm gonna go up one, over one, up one, over one. See how that's 45 degrees. And there's my linear function y equals x plus three. Now, originally it was given to us as y minus x equals three. That didn't make the slope negative. The slope is not negative one because we move that x to the other side and we see this when it's in the proper form, the slope was one. Let's do one more problem, sort of similar. I'm giving this to you in what's called standard form, standard form. So in this example, we're gonna need to solve for y. So here we go, I'm gonna move the 2x to the other side by subtracting it over there. 3y equals negative 2x plus 1. Now I need to divide everything by 3, even the 1. So we're going to divide by 3, divide by 3, and divide by 3. So y equals mx plus b. So this is certainly the hardest one we've looked at today. Our y-intercept is a fraction. So it would be at one third right there. 
Now from there, I'm going to go down two. So let's count carefully. So down one, two, and then over three puts me over there, right here. So it's still one third up, you see that? And I could go down two over three more, and I could get a couple more dots. So I'm putting those at one third. Go ahead and graph my line roughly here and put my arrows on the end. I just graphed 3y plus 2x equals 1, and I did it with slope-intercept form. It's really nice because you can harvest out those two numbers that allow you to get to the graph. Hey, hopefully you found this video useful and that y equals mx plus b graphing wasn't so bad after all. If you did like this video, I appreciate it. If you could subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below. I really do enjoy reading your comments. All right, until next time.